so the redistrictors drew that. And if I take out the population, you can see a district combining the communities of North and South in orange, designed to effectuate Latino opportunities to elect candidates of choice, and a district through the center of the same area designed to elect uh, candidates responding to the African-American community there. The populations are all in the same area, but the districters got creative about how to represent those very distinct preferences in the same place, based on a mandate to do so from the Voting Rights Act. This district has been called the Earmuff District, and for people who do not understand the law and who don't place a great weight on representation, this district has been much mocked. But among those in the redistricting community who understand why this was drawn as it was, it's actually a district appreciated with some reverence. This is a not only legally compliant district, but one that satisfies several criteria that the drawers were asked to pay attention to. And I mention it, I emphasize it, because comfort drawing these districts and being mentally flexible, rather than defaulting to a default about what districts should look like that's not grounded in the law, is can be hard and is something that I think you can and absolutely should screen for to the extent that you're able. Most important and hardest to beat, many people have preconceived notions about what a good district looks like. And I am willing to bet that looking at an assortment of districts from various places and various things, that you mentally label some of these districts as good and some of these districts as bad just as by natural course. And I'm here to tell you that you cannot know whether any of those districts are good districts or bad districts based on the information I've given you.